Hi everyone. Hey, you know, if you're a musky fisherman, you have to learn how to seek things out. You have to literally go out and challenge something. And that's true too when you're trying to find a place to go musky fishing. Now you folks know me, I've been all over the world fishing muskies, but I have never fished muskies in Ohio. I've got a young man with me right now, and we're going to talk about Ohio musky fishing. It is Chad Harmon. Chad, I'll tell you one thing. You really excited me when I saw your booth over there. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me over here. I appreciate it. Yeah, so we've been musky fishing here since I was just a little guy, and uh, it's just a sport I grew up to love. And now I can take my passion and my love for it and pass it on to my kids and other other people that just want to get into it and learn the sport. So, well, you have you have a novel position because you get to educate people. When people say I want to hire a guide, I say to them first off, make sure he's an educator or she's an educator. When you come off the water, you need to know a little bit about more about the fish or the fishery that's, than you did when you went out. Absolutely, and yeah. that's what I concentrate on. Not that I don't want the business of sharing too much more, too much information with these folks, but to me, it's so cool watching somebody new get in the sport and enjoy the fishery as much as we are here. Yeah. So that's what I concentrate on is teaching them and showing them why those muskie are there, showing them why they're hitting those type of baits and education about the whole thing. Yep, absolutely, and not only that, but how to work, how to, how to work the baits. Yeah, absolutely, how, and that's so much to that, as you know. Yep, yep. What lures to choose? Why you're choosing them? What lure? We're having a lot of fun with. They're opening the show right now, folks. We're trying to get in front of this. They're opening the floor right now. I guarantee you, there is a flood of people out there. The last two days, there has been hundreds, if not thousands, of people standing outside that door. Let's go back to where we were. You have to learn. You have to learn. They have to learn how to choose a bait, yep. use a bait, and then how to respect the bait. Absolutely. All of those are factors that are very. I know with me when I traveled around the around the world, taking people that have never fished muskies with me. One of the things I found most interesting is they'll say, "I want to catch 50 incher. I want to catch 50 incher." <laughs> and and as soon as you ask them, "What's your biggest fish?" Oh, 38. Correct. There's a lot of bridge between 38 and 50. There is, there is. <laughs> and there's a learning cycle. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yep, so like you said, everybody, that's the goal. That's the magic number, 50 yeah. inches. So yeah. our average size in Ohio is 35 to 38 inches. We would love to catch a 50 every time. I'd love to put somebody on a fish every time, but it's musky fishing we're talking about. That's right. Uh, you know, the fish at 10,000 casts, now if that was the real, the real case for it, <laughs> I'd fish for crappie all the time, but yeah. it's not. But uh, yeah, so we just love to put people on the fish and uh, we, we love to get the education in there so they can get to that point and get that 50 incher. Well, honestly, what most people don't understand is when, when you, with a guide like yourself, you know they're going to be a client. Sure. They may bring their offspring to you later on or whatever sure. the case may be, but you know they're going to take some of these skills and start to venture out on their own. Yeah. And that's when you've succeeded, to yep. be honest with you. It's not to say you want to take money out of your pocket, but that is when you've succeeded. When they've right. finally spread their wings and they said, ah, I got a chance to go. Absolutely. They put their own time on the yeah, water. Yeah. Yep. And they learn. Yep. You know, I've had people say, what's your most important day on the water? You know, it's really, it's a day I don't catch fish. Yeah. You always learn something. Though. You learn something. People yep. say, well, what do you mean you don't catch fish? No, when you don't catch fish, you have to sit there. If you're an analytical person, sure. you have to sit there and analyze. What did I do wrong? What was going on that I didn't see? Yeah. Was there a barometric pressure change? Sure. Was there a wind change? Sure. Was the temperature cooler than I expected it to be? Yeah. All of these things come into play. And once you yeah. learn, we have Mac computers up here. They're <laughs> IBMs or whatever you call it. And fish programmed, right? Fish programmed. <laughs> and, and you need to be able to access that program. Speaking of programs, Programs. Tell us about the lakes in Ohio that have muskies. Sure. Run them down. So Salt Fork, Leesville, Piedmont, West Branch, Lake Milton, those are the five I do. And that's just because they're under an hour to me, which is awesome. I right. live in Southeast Ohio there. Then you have uh, Clear Fork, um, the Alum Creek, Caesars Creek, uh, and a lot of our river systems, that's becoming a newer, bigger thing that people are getting into and focusing on now. So uh, it's cool to watch people hit those tributaries and everything that, you know, everybody kept hush hush for so long. And not that anybody wants to blow up spots or anything like that, but like you're saying, we want to see the sport last. We want to see the sport survive. Yep, yep. And uh, you know, it, it's cool to see that. It is, no doubt, no doubt about it. I know when I first started in the industry, I've been doing television since the late, since, well, mid eighties. And that being said, 
People said, number one, you're never going to be able to catch them consistently enough. You're never going to be able to tell, tell somebody they can't keep them. You're not going to survive. Well, the truth of the matter is, is we did all of those things, and now guess what? We're surviving. And why are we surviving? Because the fishery's surviving. Absolutely. You see our rods and reels getting bigger, our tackle's getting bigger, everything's getting bigger because our target is getting bigger. We're Absolutely. not killing fish. Yep, and you're seeing a lot of these uh, reel manufacturers that are gearing towards muskie specifically. Yep. And you know, you think about the percentage of people in the United States that actually fish for muskie. It's really not a big percentage. Oh, it's small. It 10%. Is. It is. It's a small percentage. It's a and passionate 10%. Yeah, yeah. And to see them gear that towards us because of our passion, your passion, yeah. Yeah. that put this into our lives, I mean, that's awesome. It is. It really is. Your guide service, let's talk a little bit about your guide service. Let's tell the people how to reach you. Let's sure. tell the people some of the rates you got. I know you post them. You're not afraid to post them. I saw them in your book. Sure. So tell the audience a little bit about your guide. So how do they reach you? How can they come fish with you? Yep. So OhioMuskie.com, M-U-S-K-I-E. I know everybody spells ah, it Ah, you spell it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, uh, yep, That you can reach me best there. Go up there and all my available dates are online. We try to keep them current as possible on there. Yeah. So one to two guys, uh, we do 450 on that, and that's an eight-hour trip on the water. Yeah. We do morning trips, seven to three. Yeah. I have children, so, uh, you know, we have softball and baseball in the yep. evening. Exactly. So I know. <laughs> so and uh, but yeah, and then we do up to three to four guys. We'll do uh, casting, jigging, trolling trips, and uh, I'm venturing into the fly fishing for them now. Oh my god! So it's oh, cool. my god. oh my god! I got I got to tell you a little story about fly fishing. Okay, I I have been like I said on the water for billions of years with a cameraman. Sure. Okay. So I decide I'm going to go to Osborne Bay, Eagle Lake, Ontario, which I know very well, yeah, yeah. and I'm going to go fly fish muskies. Right. Yeah. All right. So. I'm out there, I've got a 10 weight rod in my hand. I'm, I'm just beating my shoulders and my wrists and everything to death for four days yeah. trying to get one of these things to finally eat, right? My cameraman's disgusted with me, just disgusted. <laughs> what are you doing this for? I said, because I want to catch a muskie on a fly rod. Right. So I'm going along, it's just before dinner, and all of a sudden one decides to eat. And I set up on it, and buddy, let me tell you, it was in the trolling motor before I could, <laughs> before I could even get my hands free. I thought, what in the world is going on here? Yeah. So later on, later on at a sports show, I was telling a guy about the same story that I'm talking about right now. And I says, you know, I was fly fishing for muskies, and I beat my butt to death. How does Larry Dahlberg do it? And he says, he doesn't fish like you do. He waits till somebody pulls a fish in, and then they'll they'll fly fish to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I said, well, that's a little different to me. I was searching for him. I was yeah, that looking for tough. him. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, fly fishing is awesome. Yep. So I, I wish you all the luck <laughs> in the world because I'm not going to do it anymore. I found my biggest problem yeah. is I'm trout setting them and I'm supposed to be stripping on this set. So strip, strip, strip that set. Oh, so. my God. <laughs> oh, folks. Folks, you, got, you can see he's a bundle of fun. you got to come out to Ohio and fish with Chad. Come on out and have yeah, a little bit of fun. Love to have he you. just he just spilled his rates out there for you folks i am sorry but those are really good rates come from minnesota where these guys get more than that i know the guy's very good at what he does and he'll serve you well with that being said chad i want to say thanks for coming on the show and we're going to say goodbye to our audience right now i hope they reach out to you they've got all the information we'll see it's posted Thank but that being me. said folks it is time to say goodbye we'll see you later Bye bye